Hello everyone and welcome back. Agent Saito here and today is the day I infiltrate Wiley's base and stop his rampage once and for all. But I have to be careful. Unlike Robotnik, Wiley is a bit smarter as he will be reviving the previously defeated Robot Masters and sending them my way. But I do not need to fear because Mega Man will defeat you Wiley and bring peace to the city and I will be there every step of the way. It's time to begin the infiltration. Get ready, Wiley, cause here we come! Okay then, since all the Robot Masters have been defeated, it's time to battle Dr. Wiley. <laughs> yep, right, time for the finale. So there's one thing to mention, you can go and revisit these stages that you have cleared up, but I'm not gonna do that, it's just so boring. In the original Mega Man, the color gradient for the so flying saucer was a bit different. This one is a bit improved. Oh, don't you eyebrow me, mister. I'm getting you. I am so getting you for this. Now, while I'm playing this game, let me tell you the actual story of what happened in Mega Man Universe. Do mind that some of these information will be revealed in the future game, but I'm just gonna tell you what I know most of it. The story, Mega Man's story, begins in the mid 20th century with the birth of Thomas Light and Albert Dot, uh, W. Wiley. These men would attend the same university, the Robot Institute of Technology, studying the field of electronics and eventually receiving PhDs. Some years later, Dr. Light formed a laboratory with the ambition to use computer and electronic technology to benefit mankind in the coming era. Dr. Wiley, meanwhile, tired of being one, one step behind Dr. Light, constructed a secret robot factory in the Pacific and began to plot a way to conquer the world. That's how this happened and is going on. Dr. Light made his first leaps in the field of robotics, creating various robots to benefit mankind. Light realized the potential of his projects, he wanted to create robots that were human-like. He wanted to build robots that contained artificial intelligence within in them. Thus, Dr. Light produced one of such robots, and he was named Protoman. Protoman was the base D9 of the Sniper Joe robots, but with instilled with artificial intelligence unlike anything the world had ever seen. Like I said, some of these information, or what I'm saying, will be re re revealed later in the future Mega Man games, in Mega Man 2 and 3. Yet, Proto Man possessed a true sense of independence, one that made him much like true human being. When it came to light, the Proto Man uh, uh, had a faulty power generator. Proto Man misunderstood his creator's intention, thinking that repairing him would take away his individuality. Because of this, he ran from the lab. I just don't understand why. I mean, Dr. Light wasn't going to do anything like that. I guess he's just misunderstood is all. And uh, sorry for the stuttering there. I was trying to remember some of the details. But I guess I'll say more things later. Right now, it's time to fight one of the most annoying bosses in the Mega Man game. First Mega Man game. And his name is the Yellow Devil. Gotta avoid these first. The Yellow Devil, as I said before, is one of the most annoying bosses boss in the Mega Man game. His weakness is a Thunder Beam, but uh, it doesn't take much HP, but it is kind of his weakness. His, uh, there is no way to hit him anywhere else except the eye that he exposes every time when he's going to shoot a bullet at you. Once he exposes his eye, that's when you get your chance to attack him with the Thunder Beam. Other than that, you have to keep avoiding his uh, body parts that are coming after you. It takes a lot of hits, so I'm gonna have to be very careful and dodge him many, many times in order to not get hit and, well, die for all I care. Yellow Devil is actually the first combat robot that was created by Wily to protect his base from uh, Mega Man. Since this is his first time, he I guess didn't think for a second that his uh, Yellow Devil has a weak point as well that Mega Man can spot. It's a good thing he does have a weak point, if, uh, 
If Wiley made a robot that doesn't have a weak point, boy, would that be difficult. I guess he's just not as smart as Dr. Light then. <laughs> I just need two more hits and I'm done. Or maybe one. <laughs> wow, I can't calculate well. But either way, that's the first uh, stage of the fortress completed. Oh yeah, if you're wondering, I'm going through his fortress. And it has about four stages. I got through one. Now I'm going to the second one. And here I will fight two of the previous robot masters that I'll be encountering again. First, gotta get through this battle. Oh man, there was a life over there. Well, I can't uh, risk it, so I might as well just keep moving. Ooh, filled up health. Okay, I think it's coming up. Here it is. And here we have our first robot master, Cutman. Like before, Cutman's weakness is the super arm, but since there are no blocks around here, uh, I'm gonna have to use the Mega Buster for it. His pattern is basically the same. He keeps jumping around and move in a uh, direction con considering where he wants to go. Just learn his patterns and avoid them. I'll have a little bit difficulty because like I said before in the Cutman stage when I was playing, I'm average so I can't dodge everything. But I have to save up my health as well because unlike the future Mega Man games, this game doesn't have an energy tank. So you're gonna have to work with what energy you have. In a way, Mega Man First is like the hardest game ever. I mean, some people might not say it, but for an average guy like me, yeah, it's very, very hard. I mean, it's not that I want to be bad at games, but what can I expect? This is just who I am. Well, and with that, I was able to defeat one of the first Robot Masters, the previous Robot Masters, Cutman. Now, I'm going to encounter the second one. Maybe you can guess already, but you'll get uh, you'll get there. I wonder why they put spikes up there when there is no way to go up there. All right, second boss is Electman. Electman is the same one I mentioned before. His weakness is the rolling cutter. Just hit him three times and you win. And just like before, he's quick and... Uh, I'll be right back. As I was saying, his he's quick and his thunder beam packs a punch. So you're gonna have to use the rolling cut on him three times in order to win. And now I won. Why couldn't I do it before losing a life? Oh well. Nothing can be done about it, I guess. But, uh, you know, there are only two Robot Masters here present. In the next stage, there will be a new boss. But for now, I'm gonna have to do something right now to finish this. The last boss will be something you won't expect. For the new gamers, I guess it won't be something you expect. But I can tell you what it is. Once I reach it, of course. First, I'm gonna go get that, uh, uh where's the magnet beam? Oh, here it is. First, I'm gonna go get that life. <laughs> but, I need to survive, okay? Okay, if only I can get through this adhering Susie. The Electman's special ability, the Thunder Beam, works well here. If you want to get past, uh, well, adhering Susie like that so they can be annoying but what can you expect i just have to get the timing right when dealing with those i should just get myself some energy because i'll be needing it in the next boss i'll be going to okay looks like it's time And here we are! Yep, you guessed it! If you were guessing, it's Mega Man or Copy Robot Mega Man. Copy Robot Mega Man will use the same uh, 
attacks that you try to use. If you use the Elect Man's uh, special ability, he will use Elect Man's special ability. If you use Cutter Man's special ability, he will use Cutter Man's abil special ability. The important thing to find out in this here is to, well, find out which ability works better on him. For me, I'm using a, a Thunder Beam because I think that will work better on him. I mean, it is doing wonders, so I guess in a way it's working. He's a really hard boss and you have to learn his patterns to where he's going and where he's jumping. But for me, I was finally able to take care of this guy. He was difficult, I mean, he was really difficult. I, if I get hit one more time, I would have died either way, but... Whew, I'm glad. Oh, by the way, if you guys are wondering, I won't be doing any transformations today. Because, uh, well, how do I explain it? This is kind of the last uh, stage and it's continuous actually. I won't have any breaks in between and I have to continue fighting. So I don't think there is any transformation to be exact. So I'll be just using my agent outfit. Because I'm an agent who has infiltrated Wily's base. Man, these... This place is filled with adhering Susie's and those screwdrivers as well. But why does this place almost look like a sewer? It's like I'm going through the sewers. Yeah, it does look like a sewer. I've been attacked with water! Help! Oh wait, Mega Man is water resistant. Uh, good thing he's not Sonic or Mario for that matter. I mean, Mario, nah, he can't breathe underwater, but Mega Man can breathe underwater. I mean, he is a robot, not a human. I mean, he has artificial intelligence that resembles him almost close to human. But either way, yeah, he won't uh, die of uh, uh, oxygen lacking. Alright. Looks like it's time for the next boss. This one is called CWU-01P. It doesn't have an exact name, but yeah, that's what it's called actually. CWU-01P. Should I call it CPU? Um, I don't know. It's, it's actually a water purification uh, robot that was designed to purify waters, but thanks to Wily, he's not so much as an enemy now. His weakness is a super arm. Just launch a block at him and uh, one of his parts is dead. Wow, I got two in a row. Perfect. There were actually two of them to be, I mean seven of them. There are about seven of them and I defeated all seven of them. Yay me. Oh, I'm, a saint. I'm an agent. I shouldn't talk like that. What have I been doing up till now? Sheesh. By the way, it's time for the last stage. And this is where I will face Wily. Just as soon as I get through these uh, traps and uh, enemies and such. Now, uh, I was trying to continue the story. Uh, I was a uh, uh, bit put off actually. So let me try. So let me try continuing it. It was from when I was saying that Proto Man was gaining independence and that he had a faulty power generator that he ran away. But still, life did not give up. Later, he said to work on building a pair of robots, thinking that two would work together and overcome the independence issue. It was thus that Rock, later named Mega Man, and Roll, his sister, were born. Rock became the lab's new assistant, and Roll became a housekeeper. With the success of this project, the good doctor went on to create six more robots, as you already know. And <laughs> if you want to know, a Lackman was actually his prized possession. Now it's gone. Soon, Dr. Albert W. Wiley finally had enough of living in the shadow of his former colleague. Dr. Thomas Light's reception of the Nobel Prize as well as winning the LIT manual design contest drove him over the edge. Wiley realized the potential of our build with true AI, they could be used by other means. Dr. Light, uh, well, never agreed with Dr. Wiley. Dr. Wiley always thought that they're just objects, but Dr. Light thought that there was more to them than meets the eye. Since those two were on opposite uh, ends to each other, that's why. Now, if you try to get that thing over there, everything is fully recovered. All your health, all your energy, everything. And now it's time to fight the previous robot masters. I already fought the Electman and Cutman, so now the ones I'll be fighting is Bomb Man. 
Bomberman's weakness wasn't shown in the first part, so now I'll show you. His weakness is the Firestorm. By using this ability, I can uh, hit him and uh, gain an advantage. It also creates a little bit of a fire shield that can help protect me. And that's how we do it. Now, next is... Fireman! His weakness, as I already showed before, is Iceman's special ability, uh, Ice Slasher. Like before, he creates three, uh, one fire instead of three in the original Mega Man. Just avoid it and learn his patterns and you'll be okay. <laughs> if I can try to do that. Now for the next one. The next we're facing is... Iceman! As before, Iceman's uh, weakness is Electman's special ability, the Thunder Beam. And his special attack, the Ice Slasher, just avoid it. They go from up to down and down to up. That's how it is. And for the final one, we have Gutsman. To defeat Gutsman, you have to use the... Uh, uh, what was it again? Oh yeah, a Bombman's special ability, Hyper Bomb. Just hit him three times uh, with it and you're done. Just like that. Haha, <laughs> I win. I'm still surprised how Gutsman was able to get boulders when there's absolutely no boulders here. It's just everything made out of metal. Like seriously, man. But either way, we finally reached the final boss. And that is Dr. Albert W. Wiley. I forgot what the W was again. Alright. To defeat him, you have to use a left man's special ability, Thunder Beam. Aim it at the gun. If you keep aiming at the gun, a gun you will be able to uh, get his health really low. Now that his gun is gone, now aim at the red eye in the center of the robot. You do that and you win. The first was rewarding around uh, throwing pallets at you which deal high damage. These can also deal you high damage but I'm going to do my best to avoid them. Now just a few more hits and he is defeated. One more and... <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're going to jail, buddy. And I guess with this, I won. Mega Man has won the game. I mean, saved the city. And with that, I guess I'll end it off here. Thanks for watching, everyone. Wily has been defeated and peace has been restored. For now, just like Robotnik, he's also persistent, so he'll be back soon enough. But right now, I should go and get some rest. I deserve a vacation for all that battle I have to go through. Be sure to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell for next week's reminder. Until then, I'll see you all in the next video. Agent Saito out. Saito, did you steal my artwork again? I'm not getting you for this. Come here, you little. Agent Saito out. <laughs>